much because my car is in the shop. See, last Wednesday night, I was sitting at a red light when the engine shut off. Now, I'm no mechanic. I'm trying not to panic, though I'm holding up traffic. So much honking and cursing. I wish it would stop. Angry mother was backed up over a block. I'm trying to push the car clear out of the road, but I'm sitting on a slope. Quickly losing hope, about to let the car go. It would have rolled into the new Lexus instead of patiently behind me. Thankfully, I didn't, cause then finally, but totally unexpectedly, a brown eyed beauty mysteriously moved through the congested traffic and came directly to me. She questioned, yes, but I pushed you. I suggested, she replied with a look that insinuated she was harassing me, tongue in cheek for being a male chauvinist. Shopping. I'm walking to the express lane right there in plain sight Is the girl from the other night What are the odds that we be shopping at the same time At the same store and wind up in the same line It's, it's a, a trip, trip, right? What should I say? Fearing that my way with words may take a turn for the worse I choose not to converse I know that she has no wedding band As the cash leaves her hand and she receives a receipt She pauses for a moment, seems she's calculating I haven't thought of a thing to say when she smiles at me Hands some money to the cashier and says Should I say? My insecurity tells me it was just a polite smile she thought she knew me, got no conversation started Got these groceries in my car Maybe I can pay quickly and catch her at a car Before she vacates the premises If I haven't decided what the perfect preface is I'll have to feed it myself Proving that I myself am my greatest nemesis